Uh-oh. Looks like it's going to be three onions. Four onions. It's coming up. It's They're sprouting. Uh, the beets don't look to be too happy. I don't know about the beets. Of course, it's only been a couple of days. We'll have to give them some time. Look who's mowing stuff down. That butterfly must have laid her eggs and dropped them in. Because that is eating my lettuce. Chicken snack. Found a little green caterpillar in here. He ate all that lettuce before I found him. But the onions are coming up quite well. Still only one. Hmm. I think that's the red cabbage. I have to go check my list. Oh, something else is coming up. Okay. Now these sweet potatoes, they seem to have taken quite well. But look, there's roots coming on these sweet potatoes. I just have to find a place to plant them. These tomatoes are dead. That one didn't make it. Those were the better boys that I dug up from the cluster. And surprisingly, the top that I broke off is doing best of all. Okay, you've got 24 days to turn into decent Brussels sprouts. Are you going to do it? Or am I going to have little pea-sized Brussels sprouts? Sure are, tiny. And those have all blown out. That's chicken feed. See, you can't cook those. Want some breakfast sprouts? Now this one isn't Brussels sprouting much if any. I do see little nubbins but nothing like it should be. But it is the same age as those other plants. I just never got them transplanted. And it's telling me so. It's just, you don't water me. You don't take care of me. You don't feed me. I'm not going to give you Brussels sprouts if you're not going to take care of me. Now I find this fascinating. The coleus is changing colors. This is only one plant. But the leaves are changing. You think fall it would get darker. No, fall it gets lighter. You gotta keep the flowers picked off. If you don't keep the flowers picked off your coleus, it will up and die. Well, I guess the strawberry didn't like all that extra rain. Acid rain. Everybody loves acid rain. I guess that one's not gonna do anything. But she's still trying to bloom. This one's blooming. Any more flowers? Any strawberries hiding in there? Well, said ever bearing. I don't think they really meant through the winter months, too, but this is Southern California. We never really have a winter. And we did get rain, and we have some clouds. Look, clouds. We still have clouds. White fluffy, gray fluffy. Wonderful, wonderful clouds. But no more rain. It's just going to be cloudy for a while. And there is something very special about this half barrel. Because it's the only one where the 
the only place that the impatient survived. The only thing I can figure out is it has one small drainage hole. So when I water it, I fill it up so there's water on the surface. Twice I've had to kind of bail out some. But I think that's it because it actually holds I think that's it because it actually holds water. So the plants actually got enough water to grow to stay alive. Because that's the only, <laughs> what are we going on, the fifth year? Or the salvia? And that's the only impatient that survived. And I planted them in all sorts of different places. Yep. Winter's on its way. The backpack's getting bigger and bigger. Actually got to bring a blanket and maybe a piece of plastic to cover up if it rains again.